Hey guys, today we're back with another video. Today we're starting off the week mowing lawns with the landscaping business. Just looking now at the calendar, looks like we have 14 lawns that need to be mowed. I'm going to send out two crews today, one for a landscaping project, the other one I'm going to send out to mow roughly 10 lawns, and that means, guys, we have to mow four lawns ourselves, but it should be a pretty fun one because we are first going to be heading over. We're going to be demoing a brand new lawnmower. I've been looking for a lawnmower to buy uh, for probably the last month or so. Can't really make up my mind, uh, so this should be a pretty fun one. Now, today, guys, we're going to be taking the big tech suit along with the Duramax. Uh, let's get that truck warmed up here and like I mentioned we'll just go pick the mower up really quickly. Like always guys there's a full mods list link down below and please hit the like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. The mower we're going to be demoing here today is going to be a 72 inch grasshopper here. I'm really excited to give it a try here. It's well known in the area and they are really good for uh, mowing lots of acreage here. Since a lot more of our clients have bigger properties and we do need some bigger mowers here as well. But you guys have been really liking all these landscaping videos which is awesome. There are so many more to come here and within the next week guys we are going to be moving over to the Lone Oak Farm map. We're going to be keeping the same shot but uh, switching out some of the equipment but oh boy guys there we have it it's the grasshopper all right we got the ramp down here let's take a quick walk around so this is a 28 horsepower diesel engine uh 72 inch we do have three blades here now one of the biggest features is the out front mower deck design we could actually get underneath uh some uh fences and things like that so it's gonna come out even underneath uh bushes and uh other things like that so this is gonna come in really handy here look at this thing uh, this is so cool here the other thing guys it has a very light footprint when you divide all the weight uh between between all the six wheels here which is going to come in pretty handy but let's hop on all these zero turns are pretty much the same uh, for controls uh, some are touchier than the others but uh, we should have no problem getting this loaded on up here but it's always nice guys to pretty much test drive a new mower for the day here but I'm seriously considering buying this one uh, maybe even this one here today so let me know down below guys what is your thoughts I probably need a 72 inch or even an 84 all right, we got it loaded on up here. Now, one thing, guys, the grasshopper is a pretty long mower here. Definitely needed the big trailer here for it. Now, that could be a potential downfall is we could probably only bring maybe two, uh, maybe probably just a stand-on mower along with this. But, I, I mean, that would be a pretty good setup. But I already said my goodbye here to them. We'll be back here by 5 p.m. But let's hop on in. So, we are actually going to be going over doing a few new lawn contracts in a new subdivision over in Lone Oak County. So, that should be a lot of fun. I always like to do the first mow at all these new ones that way uh, I know we did a good job and hopefully uh, uh, the customer likes it as well and we keep going with our service we're just a few minutes from the first lawns of the day, but I did stop here. I did fill Bond Diesel, and I did end up buying a lunch here. Only like $5 for a sandwich and a bag of chips, which I will eat here in a few hours, but we're here in the subdivision. Alright, here's the first lawn of the day here. It's about just over half an acre here. It's a pretty neat house and this will be a great test for the grasshopper here. Now this actually is a rear discharge which is going to work out pretty well here for us. Now I have thought why don't we collect all the grass but some of our customers uh, don't have a preference and collecting the grass means that we have to bring a dumb truck or put it in the bed of truck and then we do have to pay to uh, kind of uh, dump it uh, somewhere as well. So that's uh, so many things to consider here here we're running a business and we do want to be the most profitable while giving a great service to our customers here but guys I've been really enjoying all of these uh, landscaping lawn care videos there's so many cool things to come here lots of things in the works I am uh, currently finishing up uh, some more touches here to this map and then it, we're going to be moving the entire series to it as well so that should work out pretty good here for us but you guys can see we are doing a really good job uh, one of the thing rear discharge means we don't have to worry about uh, 
uh, the grass going in garden beds, uh, worrying about staining the side of the house, things like that. Uh, so that is also a pretty neat feature. But right off the bat, you guys can see really good mower. One thing I really do like is the controls here. Being up tall like that, it's a nice position here for us as well. But we have a lot to get mowing. I think like four uh, yards we're going to be doing. And then I'm going to swing by a few of the landscaping projects just to see how they're doing. And I do have a few quotes to do. So I guess it's a good problem to have to be extremely busy like we are. And uh, I can't wait to make some more videos uh, for you guys with these series. Just finishing up here on the front yard, and I just saw it, guys. A homeowner just got home here, so let's hop off the mower here for just a moment. Let's chat with him, and I also do want to check out this truck here. I will get the details, and we'll do a quick walk around once I'm done. Alright guys, let's take a quick look here. He did say this is actually 2006 GMC 2500. Really good condition, almost mint. Hey, this thing looks really cool here. I really do like the paint, but look at that. That is a pretty neat truck here, but hey, we should probably get back to mowing here. He, he said uh, so far he did like it. And one thing guys, this grasshopper does uh, lay down some really good lawn stripes here, which I am also pretty excited for here, but we are making pretty good progress. Uh, just mowing takes us quite a bit of time, but it's also really enjoyable really relaxing which is a great thing to see and I can't wait for the new lawn mowing simulator I did a few videos with it and I can't wait to uh, get uh, to do a lot more videos unlock all the mowers and do all those different jobs and things like that here so there's so many things to look forward to and guys we are getting closer and closer to 100k so if you haven't already please uh, hit the uh, subscribe button so we can get there as quickly as we can So far guys, it seems like the grasshopper has quite a bit of power here. I will say though for how long it is, it is pretty maneuverable here which is a pretty good thing. But once again guys, that out front deck design I think has so many benefits here. It really floats on the ground well. I don't think we would uh, run the chance of uh, scalping the ground and also the visibility is a really good thing. So there's so many bonuses to this. We're just going to have to talk with the dealership, see if we could get a good enough deal on it to take it home, maybe to the shop later on today which would be the ultimate goal here but I think we have probably one or two more lawns here in uh, this subdivision just up the road here so we're still gonna have to put it on the trailer but guys uh, looking at that GMC truck that is a pretty neat truck hey I think we might just have to pick one of those up for the uh, farming series I think that would be a pretty neat thing we should be able to get one of those on a deal and that should be back this week as well I've been working on, on a lot of things behind the scenes and everything's gonna uh, uh, come uh, to so many cool videos soon. I am so excited there, but just about done here. The grasshopper definitely made quick work here at this property, so let's get it loaded on up and let's go on to the next one here. And I will say, guys, I am really enjoying this Lone Oak Farm map. This is a private edit. There's so many cool new things here, and so far, it's been pretty good.
Guys, I just checked in with my crew. They are doing a really good job here. They already have three lawns done. They're going to make really good progress here. And I think I have them going out to uh, quite a few more here before lunchtime. But up next, guys, is actually this house here on our left-hand side. Now, one thing, guys, a huge tip. If you do run a landscape lawn care business in real life, you really want all your yards as close together as you can. That way, you aren't driving around town. But you're instead on a mower making money with those blades running here this will be a pretty neat property as well but I really do, uh, will say guys uh, the uh, properties that are about a half acre to an acre are where we do make the majority of our money now guys as we're backing off the trailer you can actually see the uh, travel here in the deck that is definitely a huge selling point here just like uh, the walker mowers which was a pretty neat thing here but let's get the blades turned on and let's uh, get back to uh, cutting grass here now I will say this is nice and relaxing just being on a mower listening to a little bit of music and just getting these jobs done here but uh, having uh, about 70 to 80 lawns a week guys is a lot of work here for the company especially when we are working on big lawns landscaping projects with the heavy machines uh, this is just a nice consistent income and that's one of the biggest reasons why we do have so many guys when you have so much equipment you have a big overhead and having uh, enough lawns like this really does help us on out now also with that guys the majority of our lawn care clients do end up hiring us to plow snow so it does work out in the end and I mean hey that is definitely good here for us but wow a few big bumps here in the yard that we are definitely going to have to watch out for but that's the other thing I like the yards uneven I, I like that that not everything is exactly flat here but yeah this thing's definitely getting its work out here so I'm going to set up a GoPro and, uh, GoPro and tripod and get some pretty neat uh, cool videos for you guys. We're laying down some pretty good stripes here. Now, one thing, guys, this thing goes almost 15 miles per hour at full speed. We're still mowing. We're still doing a really good job here, which is definitely a good thing. Running at almost uh, max engine uh, speed RPM, but hey, we are still getting it done here, which is definitely a good thing. I now, with the grasshopper, guys, I feel like we can mow probably double the lawns that we can with any of the other mowers here. It's just so efficient, and it does a really good job. No clumping, really nothing at... Uh, the uh, full travel speeds here which is a pretty good thing but I will say guys we might have to recommend that we come back with a few skids to see if we could really fix this yard it is a bit bumpy uh, but hey this mower is doing a pretty good job here as well especially uh, for me sitting down going over these bumps at 10-15 uh, miles per hour we're doing it a-okay there we have it guys we finished the backyard just a little bit of weed eating a little bit of trimming to do here but I actually want to try backing the mower on I do tend to do this a few times every now and again and I do uh, probably when we drop the mower off I do want to just kind of look at the underneath here just kind of see how it is uh, especially how the design is everything like that here but guys I think that's pretty much it here I'm going to drop this off but more than likely if we can work out a deal this mower will be coming home with us at the end of today but until next time guys thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and it subscribe for more